Hi guys and welcome to my Spookathon announcement video. So I decided this year to do Spookathon. Which is basically an event uh, on YouTube where people need to read some books with special prompt. Uh, from today, so the 16th, until the 22nd and you can basically do whatever, like if you just want to read them and I don't know, what I'm going to do is like I'm going to like read the books that follow like the categories that are listed in the Spooketon and I'm going to review them on this channel with a Spooketon hashtag that's uh, basically what I'm going to do so uh, Let's talk about the categories. So you have five categories. What you can do is like you can read uh, books from any of those categories or you can pick one book for all, each category or you can pick, pick books that cover multiple categories or that kind of things. So I actually... Uh, so let me tell you first the categories. So category one is thriller. Category two is Spooky word in the title. Category 3 is childhood fear. Category 4 is orange. And category 5 is spooky setting. So basically, uh, I need books that sort of cover uh, some of it or all of it or that kind of thing. And I was thinking of having like five books, uh, one for each. Uh, category, but the thing is, I picked up a book that is kind of bigger, so I decided I'm gonna like limit myself to three. So the first book I'm going to read is called Nightmare Realization. It's the second book of the Junction 2020 series by Carol Riggs. So basically, I already like I'm a um. RRC reviewers, so basically I get the book before they come out and like check, like read them through and see if anything is a miss or something. So I already read the first book and like I'm going to read the like second book um, for the Spookathon. So uh, it's not a thriller but it has a spooky word in the title since it's Nightmare. It also covers childhood fear because nightmare. Uh, I'm kind of afraid to sleep. You gonna see that? Uh, because I have like so many bad dreams, so many very very crazy scary dreams. Even now, so it's a childhood fear that kind of propagate, I guess. It has orange in the cover, so that's also cover category. So that cover category two, three, and four. And it also has spooky settings, so it covers like two, three, four, five. So uh, what is it about? So it's um, you like in the first book you have this uh, party on New Year Eve of between 2019 and 2020, and some kids kind of find like triangle marks, and they are transported to a landscape, which is an alternate universe called landscape. And so basically it's like the bad and the good of the subconscious of one of them, which is called Mary's. So the first the first week you visit Mary's landscape and a lot of things happen there. So like her biggest fear there and like her favorite dream are also there. So like very bad thing for her, very good thing for her are there. And you have some people of course they are trying to capture what they call mainlanders. So those kids are the mainlanders. And because they want to go to the mainland, so they are trying to capture those kids. And so like you have like so they have to deal with a different setting because it's a completely different world than what they're used to. It's, it's not entirely logical because it's like part of the subconscious and dreaming mind. 
So yeah, that's box number one. And in box number two, we are going to Antonio's uh, landscape. And basically, the group of people uh, running after them, trying to capture the mainlanders, are called shifters. And they can go from one landscape to another landscape with a teleportation device. So, so you're going to see those guys still trying to catch uh, the mainlanders, basically. And you arrive in Antonio's um, nightmare, basically, everything you really hate, everything that scares the shit out of him. And it's kind of... Yeah, that's, that's the first book I'm gonna read for uh, this book at home. So, yeah, it covers four of the topics, so it's, it's a pretty good book. If you really only want to read one book, I guess you can start by reading Junction. 2020 book number one and two and you can have like five like six uh, four of the five topic covered second book I'm going to read is Doctor Sleep from Stephen King so um, I think this one covers childhood fear because sleep right and I'm not sure about spooky setting but it's a book that follows a shining and the shining one was in this creepy hotel so I'm pretty sure Doctor Sleep, I think it's in a hospital, I don't know, I'm not really sure I haven't read it yet. But I think it's in a hospital, so I guess it's going to be a little bit creepy. I mean, Stephen King is always like, has creepy places. So I guess it covers also spooky setting. Uh, it doesn't have, like, it might be a bit of a thriller, I'm not sure at all. Like, I just want to read it because I read The Chining like long time ago and I just want to know like what happened next to the kid but it does cover childhood fear and probably spooky setting so that's going to be book number two and when I picked it up uh, it's like more than 500 pages so since I have the other one to read in a week I'm not really sure uh, if I can manage so I was thinking okay maybe I'm just gonna like only get three books because I still didn't cover the thriller category and so for the thriller I'm going to read as uh, a girl on the train and the reason why is because I heard about it before and then I didn't know what to pick for a thriller because technically I could have waited and read the Dan Brown's book but I already read it so um, I was like I didn't know what to get for a thriller so I googled thriller I googled thriller book and the first book that came out in the search was The Girl in t on the Train. So I decided that, okay, I heard about it, apparently it's good, it's a thriller and it's like, looks super popular, so I'm gonna read that. So yeah, so that's my three books. Um, if I need like, if I finish already those books before 20 seconds, I'm going to have more. And the one that is on the fence of should I, like, read it or not, is called I Am Number 4. And I think there is a movie, but I, I don't know. Like, I just learned about those books a few weeks ago. And I was like, oh, it looks cool, so I, I want to read that. And it has orange on the cover. So that's... it fits in the spooky tone because of the orange on the cover. And yeah, so that's basically what I would read if I have to pick book number four, but which is fitting, it's like I have number four and it would be for book number four. I'm sorry guys, I keep on yawning, I'm like a little bit sick, I have a sore throat, that's why I have the <laughs> turtle leg here. Uh, yeah, so I guess that's it for the Spooketon. So, uh, I will have the reviews coming up as soon as I finish the books. So hopefully that would not take too long and I'll be able to deal with the challenge. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the description below, in the comment section below, what you are reading for your own spookathon. And maybe I'll pick one of your books to read too. Anyway guys, have fun whatever you read and see you next time for something else. Bye!